Koholo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakwadash, the blindness of the apostles, the bishops, the elders of Great Millstone, and our Shalom of Baharim. Yahweh is in the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim, Kakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book. The spirit of truth. Now, Shalom Allah Baharium, peace of the elect. That's the men, women, and children whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, who's ordained to be delivered in these last days. Shalom to you all. And uh, what you see before you is on the left, you have uh, the rapper from Wu Tang Clan. His name is uh, Ghostface Killer. All right. And then on the right is presumably his uh, trans, his, his, his son. Okay. And you can see his son is, doesn't look like his son. All right. We'll leave it at that. And um, apparently his supposedly son wrote a tweet or, you know, a comment in, uh, in regards to uh, Ghostface abandoning his son um, for his son, you know, his actions and getting his plumbing changed. We'll say that. OK. And, um, you know, and then. Apparently, Ghostface hasn't been around in the past 15 years and, you know, so on and so forth. But guess what? What Ghostface is doing is righteous according to the Holy Scriptures. All right. It's righteous, especially in the time that we're living in right now. All right. Now, you're going to have a bunch of people come out, speak up against Ghostface and speak up against, you know, this typically happens with black men. All right. Because essentially, th that's where it all boils down to, man. All right. You never see these allegations and these accusations towards a uh, woman and, and their abandonment toward their children and anything like that all right this is solely a target on so-called black men judites okay so-called judah all right so-called judite men okay all right so-called negro men i should say which are from the tribe of judah all right and that's where the target lies all right but According to these, the standards of this life and this world, what Ghostface is doing is righteous. Okay, and I'll say this too. All right, you know these. I know Ghostface believes that he's a five percent, and five percenters believe in reincarnation, and when they have a seed, that they'll come back and be resurrected through that seed, which is true. All right, so guess what? The Most High is going to bring judgment for these acts. All right, but guess what? his son is going to come back in the kingdom. OK, and if, and if Ghostface don't repent, the Most High going to put him to death. And he going to come back in the kingdom, too. OK, but as of right now, we can say that what he's doing is righteous. It's just in the eyes of the Lord. And it's a commendable thing, quite frankly, because you have people uh, in particular, so-called black men who want to get a notoriety in society and acceptance within society. All right, especially when it comes to the black woman, when it comes to matters of, of such, all right, because this is the backlash that is received when you stand on business, how they say, okay? And I commend the man to keep doing what he's doing, all right? Because furthermore, when you deal with the Holy Scriptures, because we are he the Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, and we've been given a law. And the first law that comes to mind, all right, is the book of Leviticus, Bear with me. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. You see? And we're coming down the pike, man, with all this weirdoism and, you know, trans, this, that, and the third is going to be, you know, the way of life and if you don't agree with it then you know you're going to be put outside of society man okay but the scriptures the word of the lord is going to live on especially when yahweh shai returns with the heavenly host all right to bring back righteousness on the earth okay and where these things won't occur no more within our within our people all right so we're not living in a time where you're able to implement the law, statute, commandments of the Bible 
So the right thing to do, all right, would be to abandon the the uh, uh, the the his child, and that's his child. All right, there was a saying in the in the old times back in the day. I brought you in this world. I'll take you out. You know, growing up in the '90s, I would hear that. You know, and that was said in times past. All right, and according to the Bible, if you have a disobedient, a good for nothing child, then you are able to take them up out of here. <laughs> you know, you are you are allowed to send their spirit back into the spiritual world. All right, because there's no place such a thing as hell. First and foremost, is go back unto the Father, and they come back and they receive their judgment. All right, but the judgment is being swallowed up via Yahweh Shai and His blood. So when the people that die on this side now, they'll come back. In a righteous mind, all right, according to the new covenant, the law, statute, commandments being our inward parts, and then we will no longer teach our neighbor, Thou shalt not transgress the law, statute, commandments, all right. In Hebrews 8 and 8, Jeremiah 31 and 31, that's the new covenant, all right. Furthermore, the app is tripping, give me one second. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord. All right? So this is a detestable, abominable work, okay, that Ghostface Son is doing. And things that are abomination, you're supposed to put out. All right, you're supposed to take out, okay? And I'm quite sure, you know, when it comes to the matter of a man and his son, and, you know, you, you don't want to see that, especially in this time. Even back then, a man really wouldn't want to do it, but to put out unrighteousness before the nation, those things were necessary. It was a necessary sacrifice, all right? Because the scriptures tell you about that, man. I have that queued up as well in the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, okay, in verse 18, it says, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Okay, and the NLT it says, Discipline your children while there is hope, otherwise you will ruin their lives. But that's true. But you see how it's watered down in the NLT and the King James, it tells you what? Don't spare their crying. Okay, and, and, and you know, in this letter here, in this, you know, Message, you know, there's a lot of emotion involved from Ghostface Son, right, towards Ghostface. And, and, you know, one would get weak from reading it. But you're supposed to put on the, the, the spirit of the Most High. This is why you're supposed to be girded with the spirit of the Lord and have an understanding of judgment. All right. Understanding judgment will get you through things. Understanding judgment will have you on the right side of the Lord. All right? When you don't understand judgment, then you put your hand with the wicked and then the Most High judges you as well. All right? So like I said, what Ghostface is doing is, is righteous. All right? But you're going to have these, especially the so-called black women, these queens out there come up against them, speak ill towards them. And then you got these sensitive men out there who want to save face you know, and not understand righteousness, you know, are going to try to come up against the man or whatever the case is, which I saw comments on it. I'm not going to go into the comments and things of that nature, but you see the emotions of people when they don't understand the judgment of the Lord. Okay. All right. So one last scripture I want to get this is the book of Levitic, I'm sorry, Deuteronomy 23 and 1. It says, he that is wounded in the stones, meaning his, you know, his, his testicles, or have his privy members cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Okay? 
And every man child is supposed to be dedicated unto the Lord. So, so you cutting off your testimony, <laughs> all right, you cutting off your privy parts, okay, is you separating yourself from the Lord, all right? And that's what these individuals are doing with getting uh, plumbing changes, man, okay? Going from male fixtures to female fixtures, all right? So look, man, the idea is really to focus on the end and focus on your own salvation. Look, if your child, oh, psh, damn, that's in the scriptures. Bear with me. The scriptures talk about raising a child in a, in a, a, a wicked society. I'm going to do it the hard way, but I'm going to get it, though. Slock you. Bear with me. It's in the beginning of one of the chapters of Sirach. Yes, this is uh, Sirach chapter 16, verse 1. Does not desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. So you're not supposed to take and delight in to ungodly sons. Your son is dressing like a wants to be a, a woman, then you're not supposed to take delight into him. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. Trust not thou in their life, Neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand, and better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. So that's a, to a righteous man's mind, that's a burdensome, all right? That's a fire in a man's mind, you know? He's better, he, he, he better off just die not having children, okay? All right? And that's pretty much the point, man. Like I said, I just wanted to bring this out because, you know, there's, there's, there's forces out here, man, that are put things in, in a man's mind, you know, to make him think that like, what he's doing is wrong. But no, man, according to the Bible, what this man is doing is, is righteous, actually. Okay? And I want to bring that to light. Just say that. Okay? Call Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaq and uh, shalom to the elect out there. All right.